All right, y'all. So today we are looking at the most heated moments of the last three NBA seasons. Link in the description to the original content creator, um, Golden Hoops. Just found out about his channel because of one of y'all. And I mean, the man's production is ridiculous. Not only do we get the plays, we get some nice beats. We get the call. We get a little bit of everything. So link is in the description. Be sure to subscribe here. Subscribe there. Uh, let's get into it. The most heated moments of the last three seasons. I better see the, the Rajon Rondo punches and everything. Start off with Marcus Morris in the playoffs. And one. Yell in his face, Tristan. I think that's it, right? I think they got into it a couple times this series. Face to face. Marcus Morris is one of those dudes I personally wouldn't mess with. You know what I'm saying? KD and Boogie? I don't remember this one. And they end up being teammates. They both got thrown out of this game. What's up then? What what's up? What's up? Okay, but now Boogie's a Boogie's one of those dudes too that I wouldn't mess with. First of all, I mean there's like 90% of the NBA players I'm gonna mess with because they all got the reach and height advantage over me, but you get what I'm saying. You get the sentiment. Alright? LeBron would have missed Dwayne Wade. Remember when he played there? Uh oh. LeBron. With Frank Me Lakina. With Frank Me Lakina, hold on, Frankie Smokes? I don't think you at that level yet. And y'all know Enos Kanter is going to stand up for his teammates no matter what. That's one thing I do respect about Enos. The man, he's kind of a clown in a lot of situations. And the way your teammates responded. We're together. That's, that's it. We're together. And uh, if the team wants to, to go at us, we'll fight together. I respect that. Um, but I don't know if you're at that level yet, Frank. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're at that level yet to be challenging. Bron. Two from the field. Oh man, my man Chris Paul is always flopping. Shout out to Gerald Green though for standing up for his teammate, bro. That man is so H Town, it's ridiculous, man. Gorgie Shane just pushed him. Chris Paul is the king of the flop. I'm just saying that. Chris Paul is the king of the flop. Hmm, I don't Gerald get, get uh, ejected. Okay. Jimmy Butler and TJ Warren. Yes, sir. The worst thing about this whole situation is Jimmy Butler said, we going to see each other again March something. I think it was March 20th. And, well, the NBA season got suspended. So, we don't know what was going to go down in this situation. And Jimmy said it wasn't the, the push or anything. It had to do with something TJ Warren said. You know, he said the words mean a little bit more. TJ Warren gets thrown out of this game. A kiss from Jimmy Butler. <laughs> nice little beef there. Here's Marcus Morris again. Or is it Marcus Smart? I'm so oh I guess it's smart. Something about these Marcuses, bro. They always into it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, um, just run at him. Just run at him. Okay. JR. I JR got ejected for this one, right? Yeah, yeah, this is where you you really stand up for your homies. That's a push in the back when he's going up. That can be dangerous. Uh-oh. Good steal by Jay Crowder. He took the shot, too. Oh, yeah. Alfred Payton was mad about him taking the shot. Because in this situation, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Memphis Grizzlies were up. This is late in game. Or like, you, you should be dribbling it out. But he didn't do that. And uh, Alfred Payton was upset about that. My response is, play better. Don't be down. You know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at the other team for scoring the basketball. Forget that respect stuff when we on court, man. It's not his job to respect the team that he blew out. And Alfred Payton did not like that at all. I'm taking my shots, bro. I'm taking my shots, bro. J. Crowder got traded, man. <laughs> old fashioned unwritten rule is what he said. I don't care about none of that. Oh, dang, Julius Randle's going at the at, at coach? Julius Randle's going at coach? Oh my god. That's funny. Taylor Jenkins got pushed by Julius Randle. Hilarious. Knicks fans, how y'all feel about that? Were y'all on his side or, or you with me? Like, just play better. Just play better. What? Whoa! Bro, Ricky Rubio gets pushed around more than almost any other NBA player, bro. Marquise, first of all, you had Jared Dudley pushing him. And then Marquise just like, no, nah, it ain't over. I got him too. <laughs> uh, Marquise Chris is turning into a, a decent NBA player, but around these times, you gotta remember, he was a top five pick, and he just didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. 
But now he's turning into a game yet player. Shout out to him. And one, Cal Kuzma. Isaiah Thomas and Rajon Rondo. Okay. That's an interesting little dynamic there. That's an interesting little dynamic there. But this is not the Rondo one we want to see. There's another Rondo one that's way better than this one. And y'all know what the heck we talking about. You know what I'm saying? If that's not in this, that that's... It's got to be in here. Giannis with the three. Oh, snap. A little dodgeball action. A little dodgeball action. Okay, Eric Black still give him a little shove. Joel throw the ball, let him, and he throw it right back. In this situation, dodgeball, Joel beat is out. You know what I'm saying? He didn't catch the ball. He got hit. And he got ejected for this. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Next, we got Trey Young bringing the ball. Oh, this is the Trevor Reeves of just being upset. Oh, man. Come on, man. Just play basketball. Just play basketball, my G. And afterward, they daft up. Whatever. But you just got to play basketball, bro. You just got to play basketball. If, if that happens to you, you just got to get him back without getting physical. Uh-oh. Why is Gorgie Jang in here two times for cheap shots? You say what? Yeah, all right. And now book. Uh-oh. Now we get the face-to-face. -face. Is that Quincy AC? Oh, Quincy AC on the court, bro. You don't mess with his teammates. Bro, Quincy AC, that's a strong fire hydrant type player, bro. Gorgie Jang, is he just really like this now? He a bad boy? Meet him in the tunnel? Never book it like meet him in the tunnel, bro. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right. Drumming. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. You do not mess with Quincy AC, bro. I just say you do not mess with Quincy AC. That man is... He just a little crazy. That's all I'm saying. He's just a little crazy. You don't mess with Quincy AC, bro. He pushed his teammates hard. He pushed Drummond the ref. Daring. Bill, hit him in the face. Get away from me, ref. And Drummond do the old rip jersey thing. Look, that man is crazy. He ready to hurt somebody. Oh, no. This is the cat uh, and B fight. Fight. You know what I'm saying? Cat and B fight. Unfortunately, we didn't have the... We don't have the full fight and full cam, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Nice little two seven-footers going at it. Two of the best of the best in their position going at it. We like to see that. You know what I'm saying? We got some suspensions. We got some ejections. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Nobody got injured or anything. And then they haven't played each other since this game. Oh, yeah. Marquise Chris. And Surge, come on, man. This dude is from Africa. He do not care. The man, the man be fighting lions and stuff. You think he afraid of Marquise Chris? No. So much so, this man choked him. Straight up choked him. He didn't stand a chance. Marquise Chris didn't stand a chance is all I'm saying. He ain't stand a chance. At all. Okay, De'Aaron Fox got the ball. Alex Lennon. CJ McCollum. Alex Lambert, you just started on this team and you already causing trouble? Boom, big time push. But it's not going he's he not gonna go many places because Alex Lynn is so much so much bigger. But you saw them square up. You saw him square up. They was ready to throw him. He was ready to throw him, man. Okay. These Morris brothers. These Morris brothers. It's just something about them. They just always getting into it. Shout out to him for hooping in the in the elevens though. I respect that. And if you take into consideration now there are right at Ben Simmons. And Ben Simmons don't even care enough to react. But this is the moment we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. The moment we've been waiting for. This is the like the biggest fight in the last decade. You know what I'm saying? The biggest fight in the last decade in NBA terms. That boy Brandon Ingram came in with some punches, bro. Brandon Ingram did not care. He was there for his homie. Rondo get poked in the eye. Chris Paul, you 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 a clown for poking him in the eye. And there we go. Bink, bink, bink. Bink. And Brandon Ingram came in with some punches, bro, with the haymakers. Yeah, yeah. 
Chris Paul caught one. Mm. And watch B.I. come in. Yo, I wasn't watching this game live, bro. I was at the movie theater seeing um, Halloween. That's what I was in the movie theater watching. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes people get heated.